It all started not too long ago. Maybe only last week. This city was a festering pile, overflowing with crime. Kids killing kids. Dogs selling their dog drugs to babies. I think I even saw some gangs selling smack to grandmas. This city was hungry for justice, and I was the schlubby lunch lady on Justice Taco Tuesday. It all started one dark night when... She... Walked in. Susie, Cruzy McIntyre, my ex-girlfriend, wife, partner, BFF, back from the Congo. She smelled like trouble, but if she was here, it had to mean she had something important to say. I was all, what do you want? Can't you see I'm trying to scotch my troubles away? And she was like, Still the same old time I see? It's always drink first and solve questions later. That was actually really clever. Did you just come here to ridicule me with that super hot fire? Of course not. I just got back from my secret agent mission in the Congo, I and I've got a hot tip on the whereabouts of your arch nemesis, Chet, bad guy. Chet, bad guy. The man responsible for all crime in a 12 mile radius. I've been trying to take him down for years. Why should I trust you and your anonymous tips? Look man, I've been in the Congo for like, 3 months. I probably have like 12 different tropical diseases and a ton of bugs up my ass. Either you can take this tip, or go fuck yourself. Okay, Susie's tip took me to the old abandoned bad guy mines. Chet's old stomping grounds. I never thought he would return here after the bust last year, but that's Chet for you. Always one step ahead of the crime. Thing. But little did I know, I was in for a really shitty surprise. Stop right there. What do you think you're doing in here? Who the hell are you? You're not Chet Bad Guy. What? Chet? No, I'm Jeb. Jeb Bad Guy. Oh, what? Do you at least know Chet Bad Guy? Like, are you his brother or something? No, I just have the same last name as him. Sorry. It's okay. I just... really wanted to bust Chet Bad Guy. Well, I mean, I'm doing some pretty bad stuff in here. You wanna check it out? Maybe stop me from doing it? Nah. You're kind of lame. And I don't wanna insult you by pretending I give a crap about your stupid plans. I don't know what to do Antonio. I really wanted to end this whole crime thing. But all I could find was some lame knockoff arch nemesis. Well did you at last break his leg so I could not do any more bad guy stuff? No. That would have just encouraged him. Besides everyone knows all the crime comes from Chet bad guy. Well, have you tried the evil gentleman creditorium what lives down the streets? The what? Yeah you know, the crime factory around me old man bad guy. In pretty sure that's where all the crime is mad so it's probably there oh god what the fuck is this robot even saying holy shit. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, fine. Here I am in the stupid factory. Is anybody here? Chet? You in here? Yeah, it's me. What do you want? What do you think Chet? It's me. Ham Johnson. Your arch nemesis. Oh is that who it is? Well then, let me meet you I too. Gun. Oh what? You still have a gun? The guy at the gate told me I had to check mine at the door. And you believed him? This is a bad guy factory. What did you think was gonna happen? I get nervous around authority. Aren't you a cop? I'm a detective. I think. I kinda just go around shooting bad guys and having sex with my ex-wives. This isn't going to be fair. Here, take my gun. Seriously? Yeah, dog. It's no biggie. Hey, thanks. And that's how I stopped all the crime in the city. It feels like I can finally breathe again without that cloud of badness over all our heads. Children can play in the streets. And their mothers can have affairs with me, without worrying their babies will become the next drug lord. Truly, this is a day to remember. You killed me! Bring on the sin.